name is Anna Harris. I'm a sergeant. I'm an EOD technician at MWSS 271. The main purpose of the field evaluation exercise is to get all of the techs out here and evaluate them on every aspect of their job. EOD is important because without EOD, um, operating would be way more dangerous. Uh, people wouldn't know how to take care of things or how to look for things such as IEDs or if there is ordinance that uh, appeared out of nowhere, a lot of people could just get more hurt without uh, EOD being in use. We are performing uh, all sorts of operations out here on our exercise. Um, we improvise explosive devices, we're running those safe, uh, UXO calls with unexploded ordnance. Um, we've got Seaburn calls with chemical, biological, radiological, or and nuclear. I think the most important thing that people should know about EOD is that uh, so much more goes into this than what most people believe. And when it all boils down to it, everything that we do, uh, we're putting ourselves in danger to keep everyone else safe. My biggest takeaway from this uh, field evaluation is just learning how to be a better team member. Uh, every single scenario, every single situation is always going to be a little different. You can't get comfortable. You always have to keep training because um, when it comes down to it, you have to watch your team leaders back, take care of them. My name is uh, Jonathan Seary. I'm a sergeant. Um, I'm an EOD technician and I work at 8th Engineer Sport Battalion at EOD Company. So the main purpose of our uh, field exercise is for a full spectrum evaluation of our EMD capabilities as a platoon. Out here we have uh, second platoon currently, or second and third platoon currently evaluating fourth platoon to have them uh, prepared and ready for deployment. The EOD is important because we provide a uh, an asset to the whole second uh, Marine Expeditionary Force. We provide capabilities with uh, counter IED, uh, counter IED capabilities. We also provide uh, support to artillery, mortars, um, and also the rest of the infantry as well. Throughout the field evaluation exercise, we've conducted responses on unexploded ordnance, uh, which is standard conventional ordnance that gets used by ourselves and other countries. We have conducted responses on improvised uh, explosive devices. We have conducted responses on uh, seaburn style calls, which are chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear, uh, as well as we have some lab scenarios that allow us to also practice SSE, which is sensitive site exploitation, which allows us to gather intelligence and to be able to therefore also further the intelligence community. The most important thing that people should know about EOD is that we're out here, we do put our lives on the line, but most of us thoroughly enjoy our job. We enjoy the fact that we can actually help others and make this place a safer world, and that way we can provide safety to our fellow Marines and also sailors, airmen, whoever we might be working with to include partner nations. My biggest takeaway from this field evaluation is that every time we come out here, whether it's a backyard call that we do at our shop during the day, or we're out here in the field, or we're on an actual response call, is that there's always an opportunity to learn something. There's nothing about this job that will ever make you a master or have you know absolutely everything. It's a job where you continuously keep on learning, and even in the smallest scenarios, there's always something to take away from.